Hi guys, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to formulate a, uh, a cream. I want it to be a cream and not a lotion um, with certain ingredients in mind because sometimes there's certain ingredients that I want to use. I want to test them out, see how they go. And then when it comes to uh, making a cream or a lotion, I just fall back on what I normally do and then, you know, my experimentations fall by the wayside. So today I'm going to put in some ingredients that I've been wanting to work with for a while now and um, see how it goes. I also have a new um, emulsifier that I wanted to use and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to formulate this and also a friend of mine has my flip flop um, foot cream, my flip flop fancy foot cream and she loves, loves, loves it and wants more. I don't even know how she went through what I gave her, but apparently she's been putting it on every night before she goes to bed and puts it in her socks. And um, she says her husband's ready to kill her wearing socks to bed every night. Um, my husband gave up on trying to kill me for that a long time ago. So um, anyway, um, I want to try this new emulsifier. I want to, so one of the things that I'm going to make is I'm going to see how uh, Flip Flop Fancy does with this um, particular uh, formulation as soon as I get my head together. So I'll be back and we'll start formulating. Okay, where we are so far, I have to change my gloves. I just tore the ones I had on. So I thought I'd take the time to say where we were. Um, right now the formulation is going to be 400 grams of liquid which I'm going to make aloe vera juice, aloe vera gel, glycerin, and sodium lactate. And to my waters, I'm going to add allotonin and pentothal, um, maybe green, um, maybe green tea extract, um, I think. And then I have um, for my butters, because I want this to be creamy, um, going with... Um, 108 grams of cocoa butter and 74 grams of mango butter. You can put uh, shea butter in there if you like, um, cocoa butter. Those are the two that I, I like for what, what I'm going for here. For my oils, I have um, 36 um, grams of my infused rosehip oil, which is sunflower, ol olive oil, and apricot. And it uh, has rosehip uh, rose hip seeds infused and uh, 20 grams of coconut oil and then to that I added 45 grams of this emulsifier it's called nature mulse it's supposed to be um, an all-natural emulsifier we'll see how it works and 20 grams of seattle alcohol and 10 grams of beeswax so that's where we are right now and if I didn't stop and say that I probably forget so we're going to uh, continue on. So I'm also going to add 5 grams of jojoba oil and 10 grams of isopropyl meristrate. Okay, so the, um, the aloe vera juice is ready. So I'm going to weigh out 370 grams. much. Hang on, not too bad, not so far over. Okay, let's do that again. I'll get this right one of these days. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to add the other uh, ingredients to this and then I'm going to put them back on on the heat for 20 minutes. 
You could absolutely be heating the other ones while you're doing this. Um, and I thought about it. I just, I've made like five products today and I'm running out of bowls and everything. Okay, so what I want here is um, 10 grams of glycerin. That was a quick 10 grams. And I want 10 grams of aloe vera gel. And I want 10 grams of sodium latte. And I want 10 grams of um, hydrolyzed oat protein. Okay. Now what I also want to do is add D-panethol and allotonin, but I want to add those um, by themselves because sometimes the scale doesn't pick them up. So I'm going to put these guys back on while I weigh those out. So I only want like 2% of allotonin, and if you read um, uh, at, you know, 0.5%, so I only want like 2 grams of allotonin. Now, if you read in places that say to add it in the cool-down phase, um, it, it, it can crystallize if you add it in the cool-down phase, and it can be really, really messy. Um, I mean, it can feel like shards of glass are cutting into you. So there's two ways to keep that from happening, and I'm, I'm employing both of them here. One is to put it in the water phase. One is to keep it 0.5% uh, or lower. Well, there's three ways, actually. Um, and the other way is to add the hydrolyzed oat protein, or hydrolyzed protein, it doesn't have to be oat, um, with it. And all of those things kind of help its dissolvability. So I've got um, two grams of allotonin and 10 grams of panthol here. And I'm mix those up. If you have the liquid panthol, you can put that in the pour down phase, the powder you want to add here. Okay, so we've been heat and holding for 20 minutes, and our panthol and allotonin are nicely incorporated. So we're going to put this here. The O protein gives it a not very pleasant looking, uh, not very pleasant looking uh, tint. Okay, so here's our butters, oils, and emulsifiers. And there you go. There you go. It doesn't want to emulsify. Come on, boys and girls. Let's go. I shall hit you with a stick jar. I shall hit you and hit you and hit you. lotions, creams, things that, you know, that are supposed to, you know, emulsified scrubs. And I think it's because I've been playing with emulsifiers and maybe I should stop doing that. But I really wanted to try the Nature Mulse because I heard that it's an all-encompassing. You really don't need the Seattle alcohol or the beeswax. I just always put beeswax in, you know, even a little bit because I want to support people who, um, it's shaking like it's alive. It looks like the Geico commercial where the alien life form breaks out and eats the scientist. But um, I've been, I mean, it's shaking, shaking like the blob, the blob who ate Tokyo. So I managed to save it. I think it was going south, but I put it in the freezer and it stopped going south. So. If you, it ever looks like your emulsification is getting like lumpy, it kind of looks like uh, cream of wheat, um, and you feel like you're losing it, uh, try um, try sticking it in the freezer. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to break this into two different batches because I have to make um, foot cream for a friend of mine, and I think she's going to love this as soon as I get the essential oils in there. Um, but anyway, this is my, um, it's honey quat. 
let me read my recipe here. It's Honeyquat um, uh, Green Tea Extract uh, Liquid Jamel Plus and Vitamin E. So uh, that's what's in here and that's what's going in now. And we're going to mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Um, and I'm going to color this um, as soon as I take the, um, the amount out for my friend. Um, so that looks pretty good. That's my preservative and my Honeyquat green tea extract and vitamin E. So makes a nice cream. It looks nice. Um, it looks nice when it cools down. Um, so right now I'm going to um, separate it. I made peach uh, lotion bars earlier and I really like the scent and I really like the color. So I'm going to take the part out from my friend that wants the foot cream and I'm going to make it into um, the um, peach lotion. I don't know how many of you watched me make the, um, the foot cream. But it actually, I, I, I colored it with cranberry fibers, and it actually became very, very dark. So I put much less in this time. Um, I hope she realizes it's the same thing, and I'm not giving her something else. Because all of the, um, all the essential oils are in here. I even bumped it up a little bit because she's a friend of mine and I knew she likes it. So it's not too strong for her feet. She says they're so soft and so nice. So anyway, that's the um, lotion for her. Oh, what happened to my camera? Oh, there it goes. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, add the peach coloring to this. And unfortunately, I never, you know, not unfortunately for me, but unfortunately for you, I never really, um, uh, I never really measure it out. Geez, that menthol is strong. Every time I use it, I'm surprised. And I use a teeny tiny bit, and it's still so strong. Um, I have a little bit of you know, vitamin E, it looks like, in there. Okay, so um, anyway, I'm going to add the uh, coloring and um, and then I'm going to add about five grams of fragrance, maybe not even, maybe three, because this is um, very, this isn't a full batch because I took the foot stuff out. So, hopefully there wasn't any menthol on there. Um, this is what happens to me when I've done, you know, 72 products in one day. I start getting a little punch drunk by the end of the day. Okay, let's see. Tear. Tear. Tear, tear. Come on. I've been doing this all day. Okay, so I want like three grams of peach. And hopefully it doesn't break. All right, all right. Yep, smells peachy keen. Looks peachy keen. Let me see if you can see it. Can you see it? It's a nice peach color. So I uh, washed out my jars, but I have to alcohol them, so I'll be back. My gloves keep ripping. I don't know why. Um, it's like the third pair I've tried to put on. My hands are so, it's really hot and my hands are swollen and um, maybe that's why they're ripping. But uh, rather than let my lotion continue to sit here, I've decided to just go on so that it's not just sitting there and then it'll be difficult to jar. Um, it's too, I don't know how much I'm going to make of this, but we shall see. Um, how are you doing with being able to see 
I'm going to have to redo those when I actually cap them. So I don't know why I spritzed them now, but I did. Never have too much spritzing. So, all right. So I have to spritz my spoon. It'll probably be easier to let it come out this way. I could probably put that in one of the smaller ones for a sample. Put it off to the side. Okay. Let's see. Where are you? Where are you? Can you see? No? No, no, no. Can you see? No, no. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Can you see? Oh, say, can you see? Can you see? Okay, can see that. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. get it out maybe the four ounce I'm gonna get a two ounce or is it going to be a one ounce either way either way who are you are you able to see I, I'm having so much trouble seeing at this point of the day Peach Perfect. I think that's what I'll name it. It looks peach perfect and smells peach perfect. Let's see. Who could use some more? Who could use some more? Alright. And there you have it. See if I can get you in and see. That's part of my camera fell off. Hope it wasn't the part I needed. Okay, so this is Peach Perfect. Look Peach Perfect to me. It will um, it will thicken up and I will um, bring you back when it does. Okay, it's been about a half an hour, and you can see it's not the jello shaky anymore. Um, I put a little in this to show you um, that it does firm up, and um, it's still hot. And I think that, um, you know, like, like all lotions and creams, as it um, cools down, it will get um, thicker. And the um, peppermint foot cream is... Um, getting pretty thick so um, and I tried to pull back on the cranberry fibers but it still feels a little gritty to me but it's going it's a foot cream so that's okay um, but anyway that's the um, peach perfect um, it looks like it's a lotion I don't know if it's going to turn into a cream I thought I formulated it for a cream but it looks like it's gonna be a lotion so um, Maybe next time I'll use the same formulation and just add more butters and oils. I thought I actually had enough for cream, but obviously I didn't. So um, it will continue to thicken up and uh, stay tuned. If I have more updates, I'll let you know.